Well, a good afternoon to everyone from Newark Liberty International Airport. Trevor the Aviator here, and today I am very excited about this flight in particular. So, this is for the first time I will be flying on Scandinavian Airlines, and I will be flying on their newest aircraft on this, the Airbus A350. With this happening, in the last video, I actually went from Chicago to Newark specifically for me to try on the Airbus A350. And this is one that I have been looking forward to for a while and is one of those that is on my bucket list to be able to fly on. And I am very excited about this ride. So in a few short moments, I'm actually going to head my way through the terminal and down to the gate. But in the meantime, I'm going to actually do some exploring around here at Terminal B at Newark Airport. As I transitioned from the United Terminal to Terminal B, I learned that it was actually very smooth and was able to get into this terminal in under five minutes and not have to go through security again. The only thing that stunk was was that the weather was very rainy. But in terms of Terminal B, however, I was not really that impressed from this terminal. There was only a couple of shops and restaurants, and the place as well felt very cramped despite having a lot of people inside of this area due to a number of international flights. Well, so currently here in New York at the moment, it is actually raining at the moment and they are saying it could rain pretty hard um, in a little bit down the road. So with that, we will see what happens. But the big thing though was that I was able to get here into New York before it started getting worse when it comes to the weather. So that's the thing that I'm happy about. But in the meantime though, I'm going to just sit back and relax and then wait to see what ends up happening. Fortunately though, despite the weather being absolutely ugly outside, it did not have an impact on our flight, which was a good thing. However, there were some other flights that faced delays because of the severe weather that was moving into the New York area. But while I was waiting for our flight, I did a little bit of plane spotting around Terminal B and saw quite a few aircraft that were taxiing around the area. One thing I will note is it is a clear day from this area and in the United Terminal. You can see the Manhattan skyline from here at Newark Liberty Airport. And if you've never been to New York before, the skyline is absolutely massive and it even makes Chicago look like a small town compared to New York. But for this afternoon's flight, from the looks of it, it was going to be pretty close to a full flight. Right before I boarded the airplane, I got to see a sneak peek by seeing the nose of the aircraft and man did this look really cool seeing it up close like what it is here at the airport. Once I got inside of the airplane, I noticed the seats that were scattered in the configuration of a 333 and these probably looked like the most comfortable seats that I have ever seen in my life for an airplane that is but it is time for me to settle into one of these seats and to sit back and relax as it is time to head our way across the Atlantic Ocean to Copenhagen.
And after taking off from Newark, it was time to say goodbye to the rainy weather that was in the New York area. But I will say though, that camera angle on the in-flight screen for the A350, that is a really cool feature that they had. But after takeoff, we headed our way up towards Boston and the Northeast before going over Canada. And shortly after, the flight attendants came around and gave everybody a bottle of water to start off this flight. Shortly after, I played some Tetris on the in-flight entertainment screen. As far as the games that the flight provided, there were a decent amount of games that you could choose from. It could have been more, but there was a solid variety that they provided. Next was the movies and shows section of the in-flight entertainment screen. And personally, for an international flight, I felt that there could have been more of a variety. It certainly was not bad. It was better than some other flights that I have taken in the past, but I have also heard of better variety on other airlines as well, but it was pretty okay however on this flight. I decided to take a look around the inside of the airplane and this airplane is very modern from both the inside and the outside, and I was very impressed. Shortly after was when the drink came, where for this one I had a cup of orange juice. And after that was when the dinner came. And to start things off, this looks really good. And it is some pasta 
one of two options that they had the other being chicken so let's dig in and see how this tastes The next part of the meal that I had after devouring the pasta was some cold meat and some cream with that. This also tasted really good as well. After I finished that was when the dinner roll or bread came and that tasted pretty normal. Nothing too big out of that. And then comes the final part of the meal where I had some cake and this was my personal favorite part as this tastes absolutely delicious. Overall this meal it was absolutely fantastic. A great job to the Scandinavian Airlines flight crew for this meal that they provided. To add another positive on this flight, the seat that I was in was amazing. And of all the flights that I have ever been on, this was probably the most comfortable that I have ever experienced when flying on an airplane. This seat reminds me of being in the living room couch and just being able to settle in and just relax. I was impressed with how comfortable this seat was. So after I had dinner, I began to settle in with the seat. And as we were flying over the Atlantic Ocean, I decided to get a little bit of sleep. So with that, I am going to sit back and relax and get some shut eye where I will see you guys in a few short hours and give you guys a tour of the bathroom here on the A350. Alright, so currently I am in the bathroom right now. So um, since I am in the bathroom, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of tour. So this here is what the mirror looks like. And um, with that, so then here is the sink that you have. Got some soap, got some um, dry towels in that to dry off. And then you also, as well, got the toilet in here. And I will say this bathroom is actually a really nice bathroom um, for a flight like this. And an update on the flight so far, this has to be probably one of, if not best flight that I have personally been on as it really really is quite something. So I'm gonna head back to my seat and then um, a first stretch out for a bit. After I got out of the bathroom I stood for quite a bit in the back of the airplane for me to stretch out for a little bit and that was really nice for my body after staying in my seat for about six hours when this scene was recorded but when I returned to my seat we were beginning to head our way into the European continent and I was starting to get very excited as this was a part of Europe that I have never been to before, so it was a new place for me to do some exploring. Once it was approaching dawn was when breakfast was served, and I had a egg sandwich followed by a cup of orange juice, which was a pretty good breakfast for the conclusion of this flight and it filled up my stomach after having the dinner. And after I enjoyed that, I began to start seeing some land in the western portion of Norway and then eventually into Denmark. So I am going to just settle into my seat and see you guys when we land in Copenhagen.
Of all the flights that I have so far taken throughout the United States and with this being my second time to Europe, this has got to be the best flight that I have ever witnessed and Scandinavian Airlines did an amazing job for this flight and the flight crew was amazing. The seat that I was in was absolutely comfortable. Almost everything about this flight was just spectacular and it was quite the experience to fly on the A350. I feel with the future going forward that Scandinavian Airlines is going to be a great representative to the Sky Team Alliance and I am curious as to what destinations and such that they will be heading in the near future. And one thing I learned was that a lot more Americans are actually taking a trip to Denmark compared to 10 years ago. And because of this, Scandinavian Airlines, due to that and the Sky Team Alliance, has started serving some more cities in the United States. Some examples include already right now Atlanta, Georgia, and then for the summer travel season, Seattle at this moment. And Delta will be having a seasonal service to Copenhagen from Minneapolis. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys stayed around to this long, thank you very much for watching. And if you guys are interested in watching some more of my content, then feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think of my videos. Until then, this is Trevor the Aviator from Copenhagen International Airport, where I will be showcasing you guys some aviation content and some other things during my journey in the Scandinavian region.